Yesterday, we talked about the Michaela Neguera drama that has now been coined as Lashgate. If this is the first video that you're seeing on Lashgate, then go back and watch my first video because I went into deep detail about everything that happened and the OG beauty influencers who called Michaela out. I'm just like, that really sucks. Like for the rest of us who are so honest, <laughs> that really sucks. Just for a little refresher, pretty much what happened was Michaela posted the sponsored post for L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, which one, wasn't disclosed properly, and two, she was fraudulent in her review. Michaela ended up using false lashes in her ad, and then when her fans were like, hey girl, are you wearing falsies? Because I'd like to get this look too, she was like, oh my god, no, L'Oreal would never allow that. So not only did she not disclose the ad properly, not only did she deceive her audience that trusted her in order to sell more product, but she also straight up lied and had no remorse. Now, as I was looking into this whole mess, I started to notice that Michaela wasn't the only person sponsored by L'Oreal for this mascara. I saw at least 50 other creators post reviews on it and none of their final results looked anything like Michaela's. This is going to be your new favorite mascara. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara. So using the curved side of the brush, we're gonna use that to lift and load the lash, starting from root to tip. Okay, the lashes are dry now, and before I curl them, I'm gonna give you the real before and after. So before and after, as you can see, you can see significant length. Beautiful, right? Bretman's lashes looked great, and he didn't have to deceive and lie to his audience to get those results. One thing I did notice about all these L'Oreal ads is they all use the word partnered. Not one of these influencers on TikTok are actually coming out and disclosing the ads how they should rightfully be disclosed. Obviously, these people are getting paid. Obviously, this is a sponsored ad, but they think by saying partnered, it'll sound better and people won't read too much into it. One major example of this happening is with Meredith Duxbury. You guys, I have fallen in love with a new product. L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara. Let me do a little review. The brush has a cool little feature that I'm gonna show you guys. So you're supposed to use the curved side of the brush to lift and load the lashes. Okay, so that's the first feature of the wand. So I'm gonna lift and load. Look at that difference already. Okay, now this is the cool part. So there's a flat side, which you use to comb and separate the lashes. So you can throw away all your lash tools. You're not gonna need that spiky little lash comb. You have it all in one product right here. L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara, you guys. It's Clearly this is an ad, but once again, not disclosed anywhere, and people started to call her out. The top comment said, forgot to put ad on this video. And Meredith had the audacity to actually respond and say, it's not an ad, LOL. Like, please, what is with this new generation of TikTok beauty influencers? Can you guys just imagine if someone like Manny MUA or Laura Lee got on YouTube and they were like, hey guys, this entire video is about how amazing this one single product is, and I'm gonna sound extremely scripted and tell you guys to go buy it. But oh no, don't worry, it's not an ad. People would lose their minds. But for some reason, the TikTokers keep getting away with it, and I just know the FTC is gonna crack down on them soon because it happened with the beauty gurus, and I hate to say it, but they weren't even half as bad as these TikTok beauty influencers. I should also point out that Meredith's whole 24th birthday party was entirely sponsored by L'Oreal and the Telescopic Lift Mascara. Come along with me while I set up my glam suite for my 24th birthday party. So it's a tradition of mine to have all my best friends over for a little glam suite before my party starts. Honestly, makeup is half the fun of the party, so we can't forget the glam suite. Here's all the stuff that I ordered for the glam suite. There is so many boxes in my apartment, it's crazy. Here's my little helper. So each person got their own little makeup setup. They got this really cute vanity mirror and they got a whole ton of makeup. I wanna thank L'Oreal so much for being such a special part of my party and helping me, you guys are the best. Like the entire thing was put on by L'Oreal and she had the nerve to say that her video was not an ad. At some point, I also think some of this blame needs to go on L'Oreal because they're the ones approving all of these ads. They were the ones that saw Michaela put falsies on and were obviously like, oh yeah, it's good to post. When you do a sponsored post, you have to submit it to the brand first and someone from the team will review it and either send back notes or they'll say, yep, everything looks good, go ahead and post it. 
I was gonna say, I can't believe L'Oreal approved this, but it turns out this isn't the first time that they've been called out for using deceptive advertising. All the way back in 2007, an ad they ran on TV for this exact same mascara actually got banned in the UK for the same thing Michaela did. The article reads, Misleading L'Oreal mascara adverts banned in the UK. The advertising standards agency in the UK has ruled that L'Oreal removed both the TV and the press adverts for their telescopic mascara, setting a new precedent for the industry as a whole. The adverts that start Penelope Cruz claims up to 60% longer lashes and definition lash by lash. The secret to this apparently lies in the high precision flexible brush that separates the lashes with precision for intensity lash by lash. The flexible brush lengthens your lashes for a telescopic length. In addition to the lengthening claims, both adverts contain close-up images of the actress eyes and eyelashes, apparently illustrating the effect of the product. However, the ASA received complaints from consumers who believed the actress eyelashes had been enhanced by the addition of fake eyelashes arguing that the adverts were misleading and they exaggerated the effect that could be achieved by the use of the product alone. Sound familiar? Look at the length. Do you see that? I am speechless and I'm not sure anyone's gonna ever be able to compete with this mascara. <laughs> like this is a problem. And for some reason, there's people out there who think what Michaela did is no big deal at all. Mads Lewis, a huge creator on TikTok, who you guys probably remember from the Jaden and Nessa drama a few years ago, she got on her platform of over 12 million followers and pretty much said that there's nothing wrong with influencers lying to sell a product and everyone apparently does it. Michaela did. Okay, no hate to the person that did the video that you guys just saw, but why are you guys hating on somebody for lying? Granted, maybe she's lying, maybe she's not. So what? So you're telling me if I use a product, makeup product, skincare product, let's just say a skincare product, and it makes my face super clear, like actually, but you use it and it all of a sudden breaks your face out. Are you going to call me a liar and say that I promoted the brand and it's actually ass? No. I mean, you probably will if you guys are all hating on that one thing, but okay. And also, even if she did put false eyelashes on, why does that matter? I know it's false advertising, but isn't everything false advertising? Isn't everything technically kind of lying? Just... A little bit you know food commercials aren't actual like all food products right like they mix certain things to make certain things look better isn't that false advertising i'm just confused i know you've seen the videos of like how commercials actually make their hot chocolate look good that type of stuff you know what i'm saying i don't know you guys like to pick and choose who we're gonna pick on today it doesn't make that much sense to me don't get me wrong, lying sucks, but everyone does it, especially when it comes to social media and especially when it comes to making money. Sorry, if somebody put $200,000 in your face and said, hey, promote my shitty mascara, I don't think you'd think twice about it. First off, the argument doesn't even make sense. Food commercials using stuff like glue to make their pizza look better and skincare not working for everyone isn't the same as an influencer who's trusted using false lashes and claiming it's only from a mascara. If we wanted to consume that kind of false advertising, we would stop watching beauty influencers altogether and just watch the stage commercials on TV. We know that those ads on TV are pretty deceptive. The reason beauty influencers existed in the first place was to be that voice of truth and to debunk those ads and give us the real tea. Marketing relies so much on trust. I saw this TikTok and the guy made a really good point. He said something like, who are you more likely to buy a cream from? Some guy in the mall in a kiosk trying to convince you how good it is or from a trusted friend who swears by it. You're most likely going to go with a trusted friend. Influencers build this trust up with their audience and for them to go and be sneaky and deceive their fans like that is so wrong. I don't know why Mads thought she did something with that post, but all it told me is that you can't trust any of her sponsorships going forward. A few more OG influencers have also come forward about Michaela, like Alyssa Ashley and even James Charles. Stuff like this is why people do not trust influencers. And it's so upsetting. Like little moments like this are why 
influencers as a whole get a bad rap, more specifically beauty influencers who do product reviews, who do sponsorships. That's why people are always saying, oh, we can't trust them. So this mascara has been causing quite a little bit of drama on social media today. <laughs> Let's try it out. So this is the new L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara. And I did receive this in PR, but unlike a lot of the other videos going up right now, I was not paid to talk about this. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I was a little bit skeptical about this mascara just because of some of the reviews that I have seen, but now I wish that I was getting paid for this review like everybody else, because <laughs> I think it's actually pretty good. It did a nice job of lifting up the lashes. They look nice and black. It's, you know, a good quality mascara that I would probably reach for again and no Ardell Wispy is necessary. Even Ulta threw some shade towards Michaela by putting on a whole display showing off the mascara paired with false eyelashes. They made a stand in the store. It says, as seen on TikTok, like they went on a full computer, typed it out, printed this out and put this in their store. Then they got this old sign that Michaela had with whatever collab that was taped up there a road out l'oreal put fake lashes in her hand here's the kicker and then they put the new telescopic mascara on the shelf right next to false lashes the shade so yeah this whole situation is so crazy and so far Michaela hasn't responded to anything the video is still up, the comments are still open, and she's still being called out. Anyways guys, let me know what you think about everything down below, and I'll see you next time.